So guys, today I'll be showing you how I made a 12 volt power supply, which can also be used as a battery charger. It's, it's one and the same. Um, so what we have here is the AC input line, is the AC input line. Uh, I'll just do this just to show you the voltages here. I left them naked, but please don't make this mistake when you're going to be using this around uh, family and children and do that. Okay. Um, 230 volts another reason why you don't want to touch these wires and then uh, here so this is the input into the transformer this is a step down transformer and it's, it's it comes out is what is 12 13 volts um, here it's what it's it's 13 volts which is basically 12 volts here um, so it steps down 230 volts to 12 volts. This is the kind of transformer you need. You'll find these in radios and all that. This, I, I picked this from the junket. Um, and then after that, taking the output, we fit it into a full bridge rectifier. Something like this. These are simply diodes. I also made another one here just to show you. Something like this, right? So you can see the ends here that are colored here. The, this, this will show the direction in which that diode will be forward biased. So coming from that, we we'll look at this. So this is the circuit diagram. So this is how you build the full wave a rectifier bridge, right? Like this. Diodes will be facing uh, both direction, one end, the other direction they'll be facing like the same direction for the positive polarity. So from there, we take the output, then we fit it to an LED. I added this LED here. Uh, this is the LED. It's just a power indicator just to show me when this thing is on. And then I also added a capacitor here to smooth things out because I intend to use this as a power supply. But if you don't intend to use this thing as a power supply, there's no need for you to use a, to use this capacitor. When you're going to be using this as a battery charger, you don't need this capacitor. It's not necessary. Um, so just to show you that this thing is working, I have a, I have a brushless motor here. Uh, it's a 12 volt brushless motor. I'm just going to run it for you. Just to show you that there's something here. There's something coming out of this quick power supply that I made, right? So as you can see. Yeah, there you go. Okay, there you go. So there's the 12 volt power supply. That's about it. Please guys don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.